Hello guys and welcome back. And today we're going to talk about Acer Store NAS and how to access your Acer Store NAS over the internet. Because so many of us when we buy a NAS for the first time, we understand that once you set it up and connect it to the router or switch we have at home, that we can access it and get access to a great little user interface, much like Acer Store present here and of course other NAS brands too. But Lots of times you're not going to be at home, you're not going to be at the office and in those scenarios you need to be able to access your NAS drive over the internet using other people's internet connections, friends, colleagues, families, coffee shops and more. If you're in the airport lounge and you want to make sure you can download some episodes and stuff before you get on that long haul flight, internet level access to your NAS is essential but it still has to be safe. So. In order to do that, Acer Store, like many NAS brands, has created a very straightforward and easy way to access your NAS over the internet. And what they call it on theirs, if I go into the correct folder, go into the settings, we can see right down here, Easy Connect. And it is so straightforward to access your NAS over the internet. I'm going to show you how today. So with Easy Connect, what you need to do is first set up an Acer Store ID. And in order to do that, you've got to create an account. The reason for this is, isn't just ceaseless marketing. It's because when you access the NAS over the internet, it will go from your laptop machine that you're on and then bounce at the Acer Store domain servers and then connect to your NAS because there will be no direct means to access your NAS without this service over the internet, at least securely. That's the whole point of NAS. It's meant to not to be that straightforward to gain access and you have to create a preset portal access point to it. I know that sounds complex, but let me just take your hand and walk you through it. Real quickly, actually before we get into that, it might be worth mentioning about IPs. Real quick, when you set up your NAS and connect it at home or the office, all the devices, and again this is the most caveman way of putting it, all the devices in your home or business that share the same internet connection are on the same network. Okay, What that means is, and by network I mean they're all connected to the same router or switch and all plugged into the same connection, all of them will start with these numbers the same. This next one along might change, but these first numbers here will be the same. This one, if there's certain power line adapters or junction points, might change, but the important number is this one, this three digit number here, because this three digit number represents kind of your address on the network. If you were to think about these numbers as streets, these numbers here represent the street so that's your internet connection. This number here might be the floor that you're on, but the most important one is the door to your building. And every device on your network, from the mobile phones to the tablets, to the smart TVs, to the cameras, to the computers, to the NAS, will all have this number different. And this number represents where it lives on that network. And if you access the NAS in-house using the internet connection you're using, this number's enough because this will be fine. You don't need to use www.whatever because you've got this address. But once you're outside of your internet uh, network, if you're outside of your network even, once you've done that, then this will no longer work. And this is why this exists. So to create that connection over the internet, go to Easy Connect in the settings menu, and then from here, click Sign In. Now, if you've never created an account before, then you will have to create one straight from scratch. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that using our disposable NAS Compares Gmail we've used for those other videos. You click next, and from here you'll have to enter your information. So let's put in my information very, very quick, nice and simple, and we're gonna use the NAS Compares Gmail account, the throwaway one, and again, you're all more than welcome to try to hack it, there's nothing there, but you know, knock yourself out. Location is very, very important because this will change uh, the language settings, but also it will need to know where exactly you're based. And also the account can be used for other services that I'll dip into at the end of this video. Um, if you want to receive information, go for that. I'm not gonna bother with this. And then click finish. So now we've created our Acer Store ID for this device. So from now, we can then double check that's all fine. There's all our location information there. And if we go back to the Easy Connect settings, we can now see 
that the, it's now synchronized our account with this ID. Now, this is the name of the NAS by default, but if you want to create the internet connection, I would recommend coming up with a name a great deal easier to remember. So say we go for fish123. So the reason we're doing this will make a lot more sense in a wee bit. So now we're going to enable Easy Connect services. Then we're gonna click apply. And then what it's doing right now in the background is it's double checking that all the settings are correct. It's double checking that the NAS is still going to be network accessible. It's a, it then going to enable cloud-based services. And this is how we can access the NAS over the internet and the network at the same time. And if you are gonna take advantage of an Acer Store NAS and you're going to use it for editing on the fly as well as backing up on the fly and even some of those great easy sync services they offer, this is the way you're going to have to do it. We already talked in my previous video recorded just before this about creating mapped network drives and if you didn't check that one out, I do recommend it, but this is the means to create a folder on your PC or Mac system that you can access locally via your own software. But right now it's enabled our cloud services from here we click next and it's now enabled that easy functionality for us and from here it even gives us the id if you're utilizing the mobile applications you can even just scan this 3d barcode with the app which is pretty cool which i will be going through in a wee bit to show you how easy it is to set up internet access to your nas and access all of those files from your mobile. And this 3D barcode system here is something that almost no other NAS brands do. And it's a lovely touch to keep things real straightforward. So fair play to them for that. Now, if we were to try to utilize this link and we click it, what will happen is it's now bouncing off of their servers. But at the moment, it's still recognizing it as that IP because we're still on that network. So in order to truly test this, what we're going to do is disconnect from the internet where I'm based. We're gonna disconnect from that one, and I've got a mobile phone with its own hotspot created right here, and from here with this new internet connection, our existing connection is not going to function. This IP will no longer work. So if we duplicate that tab, it's now got that internet level access created, which means we can now access this NAS over the internet and that means that even though we've changed our internet connection and we're not on the same uh, network as we were before we can still access our Acer store NAS over the internet and right now I'm going to get my login done nice and simple I'm going to continue with that and it's letting us know we've got another internet connection and that's just Kaspersky warning me that I've changed connection to an unsecure line. That's just a mobile hotspot. And as you can see, we have got access to our NAS via a completely different IP. And as we can see, because we've switched away from that original internet connection and we can't access it, if you hadn't created internet access to your Acer Store NAS with the Easy Connect system, this is what you would see, or even less, if you try to access your NAS from any other access point via the internet anywhere in the world, this is what you'd see. Thanks to the Easy Connect system, we've now got access to our NAS over the internet. This has been how to set up internet access to your Acer Store NAS, straightforward and easy. I recommend it, and it is one of the fastest um, online setups for this that I've ever seen from all the NAS brands. Definitely a great deal more streamlined and easy, yet still secure than ones like Synology or QNAP, who I think do overcomplicate things just a little bit too much. And if you are looking for a straightforward way to do this and you really just want access as simple as possible, I cannot recommend the Acer Store Nimbus Store series enough. I'm gonna wrap things up here. We've got a few other Acer Store videos still to record today, and hopefully I'll have those out in the next week or so. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.